Okay. We're back. I should probably make this the last loop. If it's a full loop, we'll make it the last loop. We need to go back to the film reel shrine that we just got to. Hop, hop, hop. Zoom, zip, zoom, zip, da bow. Right between the trees. damage I've had doing this so far, I believe. Oh, we're close to that one projector house. So why don't we just go there? first, just to see what's there. Now we'll just pack the raft. We'll just go this way. Wait, is that... That's not the projector house I'm thinking of. This is the projector house. Alright, so... Who's behind there? Is it behind these trees? There's something here. Okay, so there's... Yeah, when you look away, that's when it does that. This is gonna be another one of those- yeah, it's gonna be another one of those trapdoor things, isn't it? I'm gonna pick this up, and then that door is gonna close. No! Okay, that's fine. I'll go up here. Oh hey! There's actually a legit way out of here. Blocked off or something? How did I not find it before? Oh, it's connected. Oh, no, no, it's here. Interesting. Okay, I can dig it. So, plug that in there. Grab a lantern from the lantern shrine. I'm still calling it the lantern shrine. That's the projector house I was thinking about. It just happens to be connected. Ooh, don't fall in the water. There we go. Alright, so this will tell us some secret. Right. Mm-hmm. I wonder how much of this is going to show us what we already learned. Okay, they go into the lodge. And then they go behind the fire. Okay. So we figured that part out. Alright. So this is, this is one that we kind of got figured out on our own. I'm not going to front. I'm feeling pretty proud of that. I was thinking, you know what, there's this big fire, it's unusual that there's a big red fire in this dream world where it's mostly green fires, so... 
Let's see if there's a way to interact with it. And then I tried using the artifact on it and it didn't seem to work. What was the other place? That doesn't matter. We're gonna go back there anyway, so... Alright, so there's the secret reels. We've gotten two of the secret reels. The real reels. If you will. showed us how to get to the well. And we haven't still haven't gone to the well. Cause it's kinda like the first one was almost like a red herring, but it still gave us some useful information. It gave us that information about the loading like falling down in between loading areas, loading screens. Yeah, after I said the QA comment, I'm not doing QA. They already did the QA, it was just the devs didn't decide not to do the QA. To follow QA's guidance. They were just like, okay, ship it. Ooh. Yeah. Pull this up. It up. Let's go in here. Oh yeah. The other one was in this elevator. So I need to get to the top and take the elevator down. Send the elevator down. Oh. There should be a place to land here. Yes. Excellent. Of course, another one of these. I supposed to escape from this one? Do I go through here? Or no, I use my scout. Ooh, let's not do that. Uh, if I if I was quick enough, I probably could have. I can't see the thing on the other side. Okay. No, not good enough. There we go. That's good. What's up here? Does this actually lead somewhere? It'll lead me to the projector house, won't it? Yeah. 
He seemed to give you a secret entrance to the projector house, just so you can get to it right away and watch it. Watch your new, your new secret. Aha. See, I knew that lantern would come in handy. Alright, phase three. What do we do for this one? Wait, what did it show for phase two? Because whatever it showed... Oh, well, whatever. Oh, it's an invisible bridge. Well, goddamn. Okay. Okay. So you need to cross the invisible bridge to deactivate something, and then you can walk through the mural with the tree. Man, there's a lot of Mario 64 in this. It's a huge influence in video games these days, you might say. Okay, so that is that. Let's go back to that shrine that had the one, the burned reel, that we didn't actually have time to look at. Oh, yeah. I have a habit of just wasting my fuel. Crescent, planet, crescent, star, star. discover this, basically. It would be nice if this got filled out on my ship's log. If, I did, if it didn't already do. It, I didn't pay attention to my ship's log. Oh, hey! God damn it. Turn around. There we go. That's better. No, I will not get crushed. Not this time, elevator. Not this time. This is gonna like show me how. Cause like we just saw the thing that I want think it wants us to see. That that was supposed to be dropped as a hint for. But maybe there's some extra context that we're missing. Like maybe he did it against the wishes of his people or something like that. Oh, okay. This is important. They submerged. The vault. This is it gonna show them burning? Yeah. Yeah. shows that they burned their own records, which I kind of assumed. With how secretive everything is about the way they operate. Okay, so... 
I mean, we made some decent progress with that. Is the well phase two? This is phase three. Just watch this one more time. Walk across the bridge. Deactivate something about the lodge. Come on. Okay. Alright. Let's start with a fresh loop. And we'll do that trick to go through the mural. That's the phase three one. The phase two one was going down into the well. And I'm fairly sure at this point, going down the well will not tell us how to de decode phase two. Because you can't decode phase two. You can only... You can only use the back, the back door. Bug abuse trick. The speed run tag. I, I feel like it's it's kind of hilarious that they included that as an actual mechanic of the game. Where it's like you're in this virtual world that they created. Use this video game tech to abuse the abuse the programming. It's a known glitch. We haven't patched it out. That is really cool. I like that. Ooh, I took a big dip in frame rate for a little bit there. Well, I'm I'm also recording all of this on my own computer. So it's not just the Twitch archives, fortunately. Do do I do the moonwalk. Okay, so I want it will. Try to get into the well. See, I was thinking we'd have to solve all these sequentially, but it doesn't look like that's the case. I think I've m mostly solved. with the the lodge. Now I want to solve the problem with the well and solve the problem with that big the gorge, the cliff the cliffside mansion. I'm kinda of losing my ability to talk. My brain's starting to complain to me that I'm tired. I was thinking those were all part of a sequence of events you had to do all in the same loop, but it doesn't look like that's the case. It does look like they did that intentionally, though, for the sake of speedrunners trying to do it all in the same loop. Okay. the bull house, deactivate the alarm, and then get the hell out. Let's 
That's my whole my whole thing where I was trying to focus on the sequence of events. That kind of got thrown out the window when I learned, oh yeah, you can just use speedrun tech. And then I thought, okay, it's not as straightforward as I'm thinking it is. Which is fine. It seemed like, oh, this is almost too convenient. But then after I went through the fireplace and found out, oh yeah, the code that's hidden behind this little door thing doesn't actually give me anything because it's all burnt up. It's like, oh, okay, so it's kind of a red herring. It's cool how they do that, but at the same time, it's like, oh man, I can imagine some people getting really frustrated by that. It's like, you worked so hard to get there, and then it turns out, oh yeah, it's just a, it's just ruined already. stop saying that. I just realized who else says that. Jing, 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 jing. Yep. See you guys down there. I'll join you in a little while. <gasps> I like that. Nice and dramatic. Oh. That's not the doorway. So, ramp. Raft. Go this way. Should I get fuel? Nah, not enough time. We're gonna be mostly spending our time in the other world anyway, so here's about the fuel. fake sun kind of flickers when the solar panels change. You'd think it would, like, get, like, brighter. I don't know. I guess that's just the consequence of it, like, changing power source, but then what power source was it using before? Questions and questions. something that you had to get to after coming from a different area altogether. So I have to get up there. Yeah. 
So I never actually understood why there's this whole upper level that seemed to serve no purpose. Other than just give you a place to jam to on the stage. Okay, this is the bridge here. And those, there's a couple more candles over there. Cool. We're here. I don't know if I needed to conceal my flame for that, but hey. Is there anything hidden back here? This does lead somewhere else. Is he going to be patrolling here now? Should I have gone through this section first? Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> I should have gone through that section first. And lit up the bridge that I needed to light up to get to the lower levels. Well, you know what? Let's try it this way anyway. Yeah, that was... I mean, I didn't expect that to happen, but I guess I should have. He seemed to be completely apathetic to the sound of my footsteps. It's not like I was trying to be quiet. I was trying to get his attention for a while. And he was totally not paying attention, so... There's more. God damn it. Is he over here? was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Unless there's one right at the end of this space here. Okay. I probably made that much harder for myself than I needed to. one here. Is the water rushing? Come on, don't follow me. 
out here. What's with this bullshit, though? Is this another invisible bridge? first bridge up. The dam just burst, so I've still got enough time to get back to that location. Ah, this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just guess that that's an invisible bridge. safe? I think I'm safe. He's not walking across the invisible bridge to get to me, but even if he was, I've got the elevator bridge. Alright. here and assume it's another invisible bridge. Let's look around a little bit first. Okay. this one already? Okay, this is... Is this the creation of their virtual world? If you drop your lantern and walk away, something happens. Okay. Well, I mean, I was actually just wondering what happened like when I was in the elevator. Gave me the option to drop my artifact. It got me thinking, what if I just do that? This is... Okay, this will give me information about the artifacts that I couldn't see before. This is a copy, like an intact copy. Okay, and then they're sad. Yeah. This is in their testing chamber, I think. information I think we kind of gathered already. But it's nice to see that it's in concrete form, that this is indeed a simulation that they created. Now, do I need to go back here? Whoa. Okay. Oh, interesting. Man, actually, this looks cool. Okay, 
So what does that mean? Why is it like black and behind? It's weird and glitchy in a way that nothing else is. What does that mean? their virtual world. Now, did that appear just because I took Bridopolis, or is it there always an invisible bridge here? Okay, there is an always, there is always an invisible bridge here. This is how you see invisible bridges. Which the game now tells you about because you've probably used them all at this point. It's actually kind of clever. It's like, oh yeah, here's the trick to invisible bridges. Why am I going back up? Will he be able to see me? Confused as hell. There's something else down here, too. the world? Why aren't you going to sleep? Why aren't you going away? Man, that's disappointing. I really wanted to see what it was like to get past you. Can you grab me when I'm like this? my bones. <laughs> he was mad that I hacked and I was as you'd be using glitches. <laughs> Just got an achievement for the dying that way. I mean not really dying but all right. Okay I actually need to stop for the night. I really need to go to the washroom, so I will be back in a moment. Alright, we're back. I'm just gonna go over my ship's log a little bit. Probably do one more loop. It's not two o'clock yet. We got some time. It's a quarter to two. Alright, so, simple room. Map projections, so that showed me the location of those secret reels. Oh, no. Written archive. Library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. 
Intact slides reveal the creation of a simulated reality model after their home. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the strangers inhabitants dropping their artifact on the ground and walking beyond its projection radius. Video entry. Secret room filled with wooden containers marked with different symbols. Three of the containers are marked with glowing vault seals, but their contents have been burned away. I opened the container marked with the symbol of a burning slide reel and found a vertical sequence of books. So that's how I opened up the abandoned temple elevator. Secret room beneath the temple. I found a slide reel that shows the strangers and inhabitants removing all of the slide, slide reels from their shelves and scanning each reel with a device and incinerating specific slides. So those devices that I saw before, they weren't for making new slide reels. They were for scanning existing ones. So now I've gone, I've found all of the secret slide reels, the projection reels. Their lights, the lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. So that's the one I just found. And several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop. Surrounded by ghost matter. A slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Okay. Slide burning room. It shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to, to a shadowy figure. The figure follows a procession of green lights through a forest to a candlelit building where they carry the container into a secret passage behind a roaring fireplace. Is that slide reel two? I think it was one. So secret low well is the last place we need to go here. And then maybe we'll figure out how to get into the, se the secret well. No, I mean, secret well is the last place we need to go. Okay, let's go. We get to go, we get to go. There's almost no benefit to using the other entrance. It's just there to be kind of a dramatic way to visit this place for the first time. Alright, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna go to the tower. through some of the areas we've already been to and find out, you know, if there's anything new that we can discover by dropping our artifact and walking away. This way. Okay, we figured out everything there is to figure out with that one. Okay. 
this away. We need to fit go down the well, and then we need to do the sealed vault. So unless there's some shenanigans where we have to go to all of the ruined codes and figure them out, each out one by one, in the same loop, I think we're good. Because that was kind of weird how... It seemed to have a different property than anything else. Like, it, it just appeared differently. It had, like, a filter behind it or something like that, almost. Where it was, like, a tear in reality. our light lantern for some of this stuff though that's the only thing can't just drop our lantern and then do everything but we should drop our lantern just to look around a little bit actually let us take this put it down here the staircase There we go, and we'll walk away from that. There we go. It doesn't appear that there's anything we can interact with here. We have no way to interact with the world when we have no lantern either. Chances are, fall damage is still a thing as well. Oh, you can actually see them walking around. I don't. E I didn't even think they were there. I thought it was just the sound that they were making. That's cool. And the fact that you can do this means that you can walk around without your lantern and see in the dark. Let's go do this thing over here. Which I do need to keep my lantern with me for. So I can use the teleporty dudes. breaking that I just heard. It's way too early for that. There's no way it could be that. He's starting to patrol down there. Oh, there's another one starting to patrol over there. I didn't actually expect that. Okay, so... That elevator doesn't appear to be used. 
I just throw myself off. Let's take a look. Actually, yeah, we don't want to be here. We want to go to the cliffside. The cliffside mortuary. is crafted is with the Nomai they weren't deliberately trying to be secretive it was just they were really like their shit was really old and things were confusing because they were like they were like high I want to I don't want to say high maintenance I mean high functioning like they were doing things like Kind of being reckless in some ways, but also being very methodical in others. I don't mean high functioning as in like in terms of like like autism or anything like that. I just mean like they operated at a different level than we did. chaotic but it was like it all made sense what he once you all put it together whereas these guys they are trying to be un unlike the nomai the owl folk are trying to be deliberately secretive the fact that they're burning their own records and everything their own reels means that and using like secret passages in this place that only they have ever been to and kind of says to me that they were expecting some sort of antagonist coming from the eye of the universe. And maybe they're not wrong. So I'm here to kind of mess up their plans. Whatever those plans were. a sip and then I realize oh yeah I need to press a button so I don't waste my entire loop okay we're back here again hmm. should I try to get past that dude maybe I will Just to see what it's behind him. I'm kind of curious now. I'm gonna go through this area first, though. Let's do it without. Doing the without, like, alerting the guards. Yeah, I thought the first couple of times I visited this place, it was kind of super cool and spooky, but then it was like, oh yeah, but nothing here is actually going to attack you. I thought for sure somebody, something would, but that never happened. Until now. Here goes the dam. Alright, let's 
sweet. I'm hearing dudes dying. Yeah, none of... Th I guess that means most of the guys here won't die. Oh, wait. Since they're up here on the cliffside with me. gone through that this whole time? Very possible. Very, very possible. But, I mean... Wait, what? Oh, I have to do this again? Okay, so... That... Wasn't actually a trick that I did just now. Wait. This door wasn't open before. extra areas that I wasn't able to go to before. <laughs> that caught his attention. things while I'm in the state. No. Oh, it's too dark. I can't... It's my lantern's on the other side, but it's not actually projecting light that I can use. It's on the other side of the wall. Too bad I can't, like, teleport it to my hand or something. It's fine. No, oh, no. Actually, you know what? Let's just meditate till the next loop. didn't need because now that I realize that there's a bunch of different rooms I could be going through I kind of almost don't care about that extra room <laughs> since it turns out there's more than just that one and I'm not going to investigate all of them tonight okay I need the light for that room can I just put the light down here that'd be handy if I could doesn't look like that's the case though by the light, I mean like yeah, the artifact. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, crap. They aren't as fast here, it seems like. easier to maneuver around in this area, it seems like. That's him. Is he over here? Yeah, he's over there. He's trying to come straight for me. did this difficult section for no reason. Just for fun. Yeah, I did it on purpose. For fun. That's right. I just wanted to challenge myself again. just went out. I'm guessing that's the tower that went down. Yeah, it's the tower that went down. Shoot. That doesn't give me enough time to actually go through the well, though. Like, even if I were at the entrance to the well, right now, through the whole well. And it's funny because it gave me two glitches to abuse so far. So maybe that means the third thing is also a kind of a weird glitch that needs to be abused. The, end, the next session is probably going to be the last one. Probably won't be able to play it until later tomorrow night, though. Well, that's <gasps> it for now. 
it's a good game. You should you should play it. I recommend it. If you haven't absorbed too much of the spoilers that I just gave you, then yeah, you should do. Like, I mean, we're getting into deep game of spoilers now, so. I have a good idea of what's going on. Maybe you don't, based on what I've done so far, but. I'd still recommend playing through the whole game. I think overall, the Echoes of the Eye DLC, it's the way the level design is, and the puzzles are, and the world building, it's actually better than the base game. Like this, it's, it's knocking it out of the park. I was starting with like, tempering my expectations because I was afraid it was going to somehow ruin the base game, but it is making it better in a lot of different ways. It's imp like it improving it by so much by association. Anyway, that's my Widem's review of a game he hasn't finished yet. I don't know, maybe the ending will be bad. I'll find out later. And I hope you enjoy the stream. Everybody who's just chilling in chat. And everybody, have a good night. I'll be back tomorrow. Ciao.